Hi guys, so welcome back to the east coast side of Singapore. Today we are in a locale as known as the Mango Fish Bay back in the 40s, right? We are heading to a two-story, freehold, absolute bungalow sitting on a land size of over 10,000 square feet. So if you are looking for a multi-gen home or you are looking for abundant parkings, away from the hustle and bustle metropolis pace, this is going to be for you. Welcome to the streets of Telok Kurau. Let's go. Telok Kurau is an almost obsessively organized estate with roads neatly parallel or perpendicular to one another. Compromising of mostly spacious landed properties and chop houses, the rich history of this locale with the future development of new shopping belts and eastern regional line gives this location a promising connectivity in work, play, sports and fun. So entering the house, you can see that we are welcomed by an attractive driveway. So what's really notable that is we are 6 meters wide. So this actually allows dual carriageways. So for people who have multiple cars at home, this is something that may be a value add to you. So coming down to the house, we have a sheltered porch that can comfortably fit two cars. Right? So for water babies, you can actually make provision for a prefabricated pool if you want to as well. So in front of us, the owner has also constructed another sheltered porch to actually have his exotic cars collection right here. So to the side of the house, we actually have this majestic koi pond okay, right here to actually build up the aesthetics of the house and also to convoy good luck to this place. So going around to the back of the house, we have this beautiful grass turf right here. Right? So this can actually make hosting really, really refreshing. So the owners themselves, they used to have this uh, portable barbecue setup right here. Okay, now that it's gone, but so feel free to actually bring in any custom hardware that you think that may suit this place. Now going to the back, okay, we also have this cozy corner, right? So this cozy corner, I mean, is for the elderly or anyone to, you know, chase coffees or teas in the afternoon. So stepping into the house, we are being welcomed by this grand entrance and also we have this massive feature wall made out of teak, right? So moving along, we are welcomed also by the marble floorings covering all the entire area. So standing right smack center, wow, you can just really feel that, you know, how generous this place is, right? It gives you a very, very luxurious feeling, okay? so. On the living, we have a double volume ceiling, okay, which is approximately 6.75 meters tall. So the owners themselves, they had cleverly forged these skylights around the top area to actually give this space additional radiance. So segregating the living and the dining area, we have these customary display carpentries over here. So onto the split level where the dining is, just wow, we have this striking huge marble top round table that can easily accommodate up to 10 packs or more. Right, so we got openings on both sides, we got the ceiling fan, so this is another level of dining experience at home. So just steps away from the dining, we have this granny room right, with an attached bathroom. So it's really easy for elderly or babies to actually maneuver around the house. Right? We also have these gliders to actually ventilate this room if required. So with such a hog sized house, we must also expect a jumbo sized kitchen. Right? So, and this is exactly what the house has to offer. So let's head on to the galley. So right smack center, we have this quality finishing marble top, okay, with this U-shaped kitchen. We have truck loads, panels of um, carpentries here, okay, you can put your hardware or whatnot here, your kitchen wares, and also two gliders at the side to actually aerate the space. Right now, do you see these hops here? Right, so if you're enjoying the video so far, please help us to smash the like button and subscribe to us. Right, so now moving along, you can see the white goods are also flushly tucked here together with the carpentries. And there we have a dedicated fridge space large enough to fit a twin door refrigerator. So behind this kitchen area, we have this inside yard area, okay, which is relatively huge. Right, so we have two maids room and also a common bathroom right outside. So possibilities for any reconfiguration or additional storages is going to be a breeze considering how extensive this place offers. So before we head up to the second level, on the right before the main door, we have actually two additional rooms, right? So over here, room number one, decent size, wardrobe all constructed. Current setting, it's used as an entertainment room, come study area. 
Right, so on to the second room. You can see that this room is really substantial. Casement windows at the side, okay. So current setting, owners use this side as a study area or workstation, right? So this side, we have this space for his calligraphy drawings, right? So to the back, we have this attached bathroom as well and this walk-in wardrobe, okay, all the way L-shaped line up here. So for this room, with this sheer size, I mean, you can convert this into, let's say, a lounge, right? Mahjong room or even just a movie theater. So possibilities are boundless. So on a whole, level one, we have three bedrooms, two en suite, two maids room, okay, and massive living, dining, and kitchen area. So now let's check out what level two has to offer. Let's go. So onto the second level, currently we have this very, very nice, decent sized family area. Okay, bedroom wise, we have four bedrooms currently. Okay, it was reconfigured from the initial six bedrooms. So now let's check out the first bedroom. So now onto the first room, you can see that we have a mega double room here. Okay, two queen size bed. Okay, balcony right outside. So this can easily rival any hotel master suites out there, right? Of course, over here, we have this vanity corner right here with the walk-in wardrobe with both sides. Onto the washroom, as you can see, contemporary theme. Okay, ventilated windows, bathtub, standard standing showers. Okay, so this is pretty much uh, all you need. So onto the second room, wow, the sheer size. So first up, we have a decent sized nursery room. So you can actually convert this into an exercise area or a hidden closet for the missus. So walking down the aisle, again, we have this work from home situation setting right here. Okay, plenty of storage right here. So now maybe let's head into the washroom to take a look at this massive toilet. Into the washroom, as you can see, it's contemporary themed. We have a wall-to-wall -wall mirror, lower hung. Okay, and then right here, you have this corner tub. So, I mean, a lot of people, they get bathtubs and such, and that would take up pretty much a lot of space. So I think this is quite clever. So right across, we have this party for good chat. Now over here, air vents. Moving down, we have again standard standing showers with glass doors. And now this leads us to the walk-in wardrobe with a vanity corner right on my right side. So onto this walk-in wardrobe, it's six meters long, approx, okay? And you can see the sheer amount of clothes right here. So this is really a dream come true for the missus, right? So onto the masters, right? You can see that we have again windows. Right, and then this king size bed right smack center with the TV console set up right in front. Right, also we can see that there's some couches here to actually boost up the aesthetics of the room. So as you can tell, this room is like a self-contained room by itself. And also the last room is actually used as a storage by the owner, so we won't be showing you today. Let's run through the amenities here real quick. We are in a very convenient position with many facilities within one kilometer's walking distance. Yunos MRT, CHIJ and High Girls Primary, Taunan School, a number of international schools, Dunman Food Centre, Yunos Crescent Market, I want to Katong, Katong Square, plenty of child care centres, health care, Juchet CC, Kampong Ubi CC and the upcoming Marine Parade CC. I don't want to touch on the popular cafes and bars around here. You know you're really spoiled for choices. So if you're driving, just a few hundred metres down would be Steel Road. Okay, that will bring you to the PIE up north, connecting to the KPE or ECP down south. So we have come to the end of the home tour. Price point wise, owners are actually looking along the $1,000 PSF mark, which I think is very realistic in today's market's climate, right? So if you like this video, do give us a like, a subscribe. I'm from QQ, my name is Aaron Young, always happy to bring places to you and I'll see you soon.